the dangers of draining your pool in an above ground pool. Hey, it's Chad with Above Ground Pros. I want to talk to you guys a second about draining your pool because I hear a lot of customers sometimes drain it in the winter to clean it out. Uh, they'll drain it in the summer sometimes to clean it out. I, I want to share something with you that, that continuously I see that customers don't realize. It doesn't seem that anybody's really telling them this, so I want you to know this. Number one, rule of thumb is you're never to drain a vinyl liner pool, whether that's in ground or above ground, and I'll explain why. The way a liner is designed is it's cut a little small for the pool, and it has plasticized within the liner that allow the liner to stretch a little bit to fit in nice, okay? Well, what's going to happen is once you put that liner in there the first time, the plasticides are very pliable and they're going to stretch and everything's going to be fine. They stretch out, you fill it up with thousands and thousands of pounds of water weight, and that water weight holds the liner in place. Very quickly after that liner's in there, the plasticides become hard, like any plastic that sits in the weather would become hard over time. The plasticides become hard. When you drain the water out, the liner will shrink back to its original undercut size. And the plasticides at this point will now be hard and the liner will not stretch back out when you fill the pool up. Those plasticides won't allow the liner to stretch back up. So seeing as though the liner shrunk to its original size and it won't stretch, you're going to have a liner that's too small for your pool. So what's going to happen? One of a couple things are going to happen. Number one, the liner's too small. You start putting that water weight in there, it starts getting about a foot of water in it or so, and there's so many thousand pounds of water on it, it's going to, number one, either tear the liner at the seams or tear it somewhere else. Number two, and the most common, is it's going to want more liner. So it's going to pull from the top of the pool, which sometimes caves in the walls, sometimes it pops off the top. Problem is, if you have yourself in this situation, or if you get yourself in this situation, there's nothing you can do. You, you're not going to be able to stretch that liner out. There, there's all sorts of little techniques on how to stretch a liner in, in small spots by putting hot water on it, using a blow dryer. All that stuff works fine for small sections of the liner, but not the entire thing. So the moral of the story is if you ever drain your pool down, you're running the risk of having to replace your liner, okay? And I want you to be educated on that. Now, what speeds up, if you drain the pool out, what speeds up that shrinking process is going to be the heat. It's going to be the sun, okay? There's sometimes during the summer when we run service that we have to drain somebody's pool down to repair something. So this is how we do it. Keep in mind, the sun and the heat is going to greatly speed up the process of the liner shrinking. So long story short, the hotter it is, the more sun on it, the more liable you are to ruin this liner if you drain it. So this is what we do. We get a good sump pump that's going to pump this pool out in six to eight hours. We put it in there. We wait until the sun goes down. We turn it on. It pumps it out overnight. We get to our customer's house first thing in the morning. We do the repair, and we start running water before the sun even comes up. That's not a guarantee that it's going to work. But if you have to drain your pool, that's the way you want to do it. And if you're wanting to do some kind of repair and you're in the midst of the summer, another thing you might want to do is wait until the winter time. When it's colder and the sun's not intense, it's more likely that you can drain the pool down and fill it back up quickly. And without the intensity of the summer sun, you're probably going to be okay with it. Okay. So that's draining your pool, but keep in mind, if you drain it, you run the risk of ruining your liner, and that's not what I want to have happen to you. What we want to do is we want to invite you back to our website. We have a slew more videos for you, maintenance videos, startup videos, repair videos, installation videos, everything you can imagine you do on your above ground pool. You know, the reason we've done this is, is we find out that a lot of customers, when they find that we do service around the Atlanta area, they have a hard time finding guys that work on above grounds. And, and the reason is, is customers always do it themselves. This stuff is simple. Taking care of your pool, repairing your pool, whatever needs to be done is very simple. But you just need the knowledge to be able to do this. And that's where we come in. 
So check out the link here below me on the screen. If you go down into the description menu, you click on that link, it's going to take you right to our webpage where you'll have access to all these videos. Uh, again, anywhere from how to start your pool up, water chemistry issues, uh, pump issues, filter issues, salt system issues, uh, piping your pool, taking your pool down, putting it back up, replacing your liner. I could go on and on and on and on, okay? So come check us out, and we'll see you there.